What's happening, people? We're back again, Chat and Pony, episode 13. Once again, we are sponsored by Flux Activewear. Um, get on them on social media. They've got all sorts of T-shirts, three-quarter zips, jackets, you know what I mean? They've got proper professional gear, so get on them and have a look. Uh, today, I have two very, very funny people in, which uh, is always a pleasure to have in. So uh, introduce yourselves, Dan and Kai. All right, we'll go first. I am uh, Kai Humphreys, Geordie Lad, comedian. Uh, follow him around on two eyes, uh, traveling the world at the minute. So, hi, well, I'm Daniel well, Stoss and I'm a comedian. I've been doing it. How long have we been doing this now? We've been touring together for like 10 years now. Aye. Since 2011 was the first year we toured together and we've just kept it going on stuff. Old married couple. Class, aye. Like <laughs> fucking, then we think about like, we're, a, we're now at like a fucking like good stage in our career where we no longer have to share the same hotel room. So I think that's been. Uh, the, that was weird, wasn't it? The first few tours, and we're just like in fast sing, single, single beds in there. I in a fucking travel lodge, and you'd always get <laughs> you'd <laughs> always get excited at Holiday Inn because Holiday Inn was they had biscuits. And no other hotels had biscuits. <laughs> so, so, sometimes <laughs> sometimes you get Wi Fi in that. Uh, like, oh, that's like then we go to shows, lad. When we go to shows, obviously two people get put in one room. So you, you just gotta just gotta get on with it, lad. Uh, and you're happy when they have certain type of tea bags and that on the side. But uh, uh, <laughs> you're yeah. made off, aren't you? We'd, we'd book like say a Friday night. We'd get a room each just in case we're pulled and that, and it would be so lonely going back to the beds. Like. <laughs> 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 I did when we were single. We were like weekends, right? We'll go out after the show, right? And we'll get fuck, you know, we'll get laid. There'll be girls at the show and. Nah, it was just us fucking uh, wanking. Do you want to, do, do you want to just watch a comedy wife? special? Do you want to come to my room? <laughs> <laughs> we used to uh, hotbox the car. Your old ass uh, truck just all the, the time. Oh, that sounds good, that. Uh, <laughs> we, smoke we, weed we in the car. Park, I remember the time we were in there, uh, I think it was Brighton, and we were uh, downstairs in their car park, and we were just ch- like fucking chain smoking spliffs, and some hotel security guy was just like, I know what you're doing in there, but uh, like it's uh, just... It's, it's, make it less obvious, lads. <laughs> yeah. so just going up in the room, run the shower, put a sock out of the... Well, like it's just cigarettes. He's like, nobody smokes cigarettes in their cars <laughs> in a basement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, yeah. Who rolls a king size cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> so just say to him, "Mad, look, it's just just a rolly, that. Nah. Yeah. It's Sam, nah. what are you yeah. on about? It's just a rolly." Why, yeah, why have you done a cross? Why have you done a cross joint? Uh, like, uh, 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 <laughs> smoking a tobacco cross joint. <laughs> I just love the backy boys. And if you can do one of them cross joints, you've got skills, mate. Uh, you have seen them, and I'm just like, "Whoa, uh, why was anyone doing that with their fingers?" It all, what seem, is going it all on? seems like a bit like overkill, though, doesn't it? Like, yeah, you, you don't need any, it. You got to get it anyway. Are uh, you going to get any more out of that spliff? Yeah, because of them two little bits at the top. Uh, there. I don't think you're that. It's the architecture of it. Though. That's nice. that is what it is. It's like I wouldn't have the skill to do that. Definitely not. I can't. Yeah. Man, I can barely fucking roll a reg. I, I, I can fold. Sm- I can fold a joint. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'll fold. I'll, I'll only roll a joint if I'm on my own. If there's anybody else there, like I'm just like this is your job. Yeah, you didn't want. not me. You didn't want half of mine. <laughs> <laughs> you one of them where everyone goes roll it lad don't fold it uh, yeah. his, are, his are genuinely like horrendous man like uh, it's, you just go you have to take it apart I'll be like I'll do it for, get it fucking here I, I can't understand it I've tried for years I'll sit in front of YouTube videos of that I just kind of get it <laughs> I kind of get it mate there's something listening in my head yeah that is a mad fucking one fucking computer Rubik's Cube in 88 seconds I kind of fucking roll a split <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's missing oh that's sick that you know oh, I've got mates I can do it without looking lad just like that talking oh yeah what's he saying yeah. he's saying Looking, talk, looking that way, just talking. Uh, yeah, and then all you've got to do is just do that. Uh, I'm, I'm always done. so Jealous. impressed when somebody can just like knock up such an aesthetically sp- oh, like yeah. Yeah. cone. Yeah, people that can just make natural cones with that big fucking bit Lad, on the end. Well, one of my mates, Jack, shout out, Jack Peters, lad. Every single one looks the same. It looks Aye. like a ready roll from an Amsterdam coffee shop. Oh, and you're just like, how lad? Like, so I've started how? buying these, uh, like uh, they just co- they come as cones, and you pour and you them po- in. Poke it in. And honestly, I, feel, that. I feel like I'm playing balls with the bumpers up, man. <laughs> one of my mates only, only, only smokes blunts, so mm. he does that with them. You know what Aye. I mean? Because he only smokes blunts. Because he said when you do it with a normal one, it doesn't. It's not the yeah. same. Mm. But I couldn't smoke one of them blunts, me lad. Be yeah. sitting there like that. Aye. Oh no, my tolerance went up fucking <laughs> hugely during lockdown. <laughs> like, you use like, vape a lot though. Uh, I kind of get away with vaping because it's the thing with a spliff is it's finite. It's a ritual. You, you start it, you finish it with a vape. Yeah. You're constantly just tooting away. Aye, but man, that's the thing. Your tolerance just goes way up, man. I feel like, you know, uh, smoked weed 
for 10 years and then like in the past two years have like leveled up to the point where I'm like I could I could bang with Snoop at this point now uh, like before uh, like oh, it was we... always a fear that if you ever met like you ever cross paths with some big stoner like Snoop Dogg and you're like he hands you a spliff obviously you want to fucking smoke a joint with him but you don't want a whitey in front of fucking Snoop Dogg yeah you know that's <laughs> you don't a very fucking... good point that you don't we, want to we need, now we... I've trained I'm, I'm fucking I've been pointing at you going ha 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 that funny laugh <laughs> put me up on his fucking granddad uh, Instagram account <laughs> Snapchat, yeah. <laughs> well, we, that, we hijacked some of his weed in festival. It was on the uh, way to him. And... Yeah, he was headlining uh, festival in our friend. Right. He just, he just stole weed? some of Snoop's weed. Aye, uh, aye, he was aye. a certified OG. Just take it, away it, off that one, lad. <laughs> that right away, certified OGs. Go on, aye, tell me that. Just, I need to know that story. We just intercepted it. It was a massive bag for him. Yeah, because cool, like, one of his, he's just at this level of obviously fame where he's like, and part of my rider is I need a fucking bin bag worth of weed. <laughs> And if you don't have that, I'm not doing the show. Uh, so we know one of the organisers of the <laughs> festival who will remain nameless. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was just like, like he was literally on his way to like deliver it to Snoop. And we were like, is that Snoop Dogg's weed? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, we'll have some of that, mate. Can we have some of that, please? Because that's the I good shit. I'd say that would be some heavy flavours, that, wouldn't it? Uh, you can't fucking, you can't like take Snoop Dogg shite weed uh, you can't yeah. be like ah oh, yeah no my friend grew this in his back garden it's gotta yeah. be <laughs> yeah. gotta be proper resin junkies uh, gear aye. proper imagine <laughs> if it was just stems and sticks and seeds and you're like ah he's full of shit yeah he's but done. he doesn't really smoke he's just putting an axe on uh, <laughs> and where uh, we smoke weed with Howard Marks Mr Nice uh, yeah Altitude festival aye he Fuck was him. yeah before he before he uh, passed away obviously uh, he tried to bang worse look at him now dude <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't keep up, lad. He couldn't do keep it, up. Yeah, well, Marks tapped Rudy. He was like, fuck the Kai and Sloss, man. What? <laughs> One of them can't even roll. <laughs> One of them can't even roll. He's smoking me on the table. What's going on here? <laughs> him, and, uh, him, oh. him and Brett got into a, a joint rolling competition, which was just great. Our friend who's really good at rolling splits, but just watching Howard Marks just roll. And it was long ones, too. Uh, I think the competition was to just see how they can Like two it. skins together. Aye, but still smoke. Structural integrity. Aye. <laughs> It was fucking class. <laughs> oh, lad, that sounds something I'm very envious of being there for. That would have been that would have been brilliant. That. Are you still allowed to smoke weed now? That um, you? No, you can. It's Aye. just like leading up to fights. It's in incom- like when it comes to drug testing and stuff. Because of all the stuff what's happened over the years, not with like Nick Diaz, Aye. where he got that five year ban over smoking weed. Aye, um, absolutely ridiculous. Got robbed there. Then we were could have yeah, seen so no many. No, I mean, we could have seen so many fights. But like, what they've done now is they've put like the tolerance up. So, like, however metabolics is in your system, mm. they've put it up so that basically the only way you can fail that is if you are stoned when you're fighting. Oh, right, you know okay. what I mean? So that's literally the only way you can fail it nowadays. Depending mm. on what states are in, it's different. I think some states, you can basically be stoned when you're fighting. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? That explains, but, no, that explains Nate Diaz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but most states now, it's and it's only in competition where you can't. So if I wanted to, I could smoke pot right up until, like, two days before me weighing. Uh, yeah. And then... When well, it comes to the weigh-in. Next time, next time you've got a fight in uh, Vegas, what's the name of that fucking store? Oh, yeah, Planet 13. Planet 13, man. It is like the Apple store of marijuana. <laughs> so, lad, last week when they went, because I said I I didn't, I couldn't go to the Tuesday, could I? Because my V's never come back in time and my passport. So Molly and that went on the Sunday. They didn't check into the fight at hotel till Monday, so they got like a night on the strip. Aye. And Ellis was FaceTiming me, lad, and like, it was like a JD, but with weed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Aye. Just like, lad, look at this one. Look at this one. Just moving around, so looking at stuff. We, you know got a, I mean? we got a bath bomb and had a fucking podcast in the hot tub with a fucking THC <laughs> bath bomb. You got a fucking gold gold plated spliff. Uh, <laughs> it was gold, like a yeah, gold, gold, not gold plated, gold leaf. You got a fucking <laughs> smoke yeah. gold plated spliff. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. The king Pardon of hyperbole over here. <laughs> gold plated, had diamonds in it. Uh, <laughs> but there was, uh, you go in and you, it's like when you go to a Max or you get your own marijuana genius. Like you're booking for a slot and comes out and he's like what type of high do you want to get and you're like hi yeah like, i just want to get high. Hey. You, start, you start being really specific and like i'm a weary traveler i want to stay up and have a laugh with my mates but i don't want it to ruin my night's sleep and they're like i know just the one for you uh, <laughs> and, and, and later on i intend to watch some movies and drink some wine and they're like horror or comedy and you're like yeah. comedy and they're like well then this one and this one for horror yeah, halfway mate. through we're in there you can't smoke in the store but like literally while we're being told about all the different types of weed you can get and all the different edibles and stuff there's just like this fucking drone show that starts happening uh, I, like thought, eight, I thought I'd been attacked I was paranoid <laughs> <laughs> like to eight uh, 
drones come out like with something over the top of them like that just glowing uh, I like uh, light formations just doing little formations and they just in start the shop fucking floating just around keep, keep it yeah, just, people were like that in there Whoa. Uh, <laughs> just, just all the stoners I, just... I was like can he see them as well the only one that can see them am I just proper stoned <laughs> it's, scratching uh, your head it's the fucking bit like I hope I mean I don't know if we'll ever fucking legalise marijuana in this country but it, it should be though it's stupid uh, the way it hasn't but, but the thing is we don't really have there's not really a stoner culture in the UK at all like you know if we, when you in no, this city there is lot. In this city there is lot. Look, who's, look everywhere. who's living in Edinburgh. Oh, who's like, but celebrity wise, like, you can name like twenty st- celebrities in America. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, you're right. Uh, like, yeah. Who's that in the UK? Who's the big stoners? I uh, like even like was Carl Sagan a stoner as well? You know, the... no, I think he just loved space. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. if he was in a. Not I think the, stoners. No, that, just... That's a very good point. That you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of uh, anyone who's like mainstream. Let's just look at Philip Schofield's a stoner. There we are. There's yeah. <laughs> Everyone will love it then. Oh, uh, Phil's done it. Um, I, uh, I was one of the first Philip ever Schofield. comics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on this podcast to say fuck Philip Schofield. <laughs> say it as many times as you want, lad. <laughs> I, hope, I hope he's not a fan. <laughs> uh, I was one of the first comics to do jokes about fucking weed on television in the UK. And the, people have done jokes about marijuana on television in America for 40, 50 years yeah, since easy. television was there. Yeah. We just don't... I don't know why we don't have it, because... I mean, people fucking smoke here, man. Yeah, a lot of people smoke here, lad. Like, half my mates do. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? All year round, lad, without fail, yeah. for, like, getting all mad heavy flavours. My mum just... tried to get into it for a bit well, when, when all our kids grew up, because all of our kids smoke weed. And she was just like, if you can't beat them, join them. But, yeah. I mean, this oh, is just I've got half the opposite to that, lad, when I have been having a go on that. Aye. I fucking don't have that near the house. You don't have that near the house. Don't you have don't that. think you could convince? Not, not even in the garden. Not even Aye. in the garden. <laughs> you know what I mean? I swear, my man's bit my head off over it before, lad. Aye. I'm just like, oh. Aye. And my dad's talk, the opposite. Yeah, talk to Frank and that. My dad's just one of the lads. <laughs> and I'm just like, go on, son. Rock on a demo. Go on, here's yeah. dad. Oh, go on. No, the way. My dad, mum and dad are just complete opposites on that front. Aye. One's like the little devil on my shoulder and one's like the little angel. You know what I mean? Good oh, don't do it, do it, don't do it, do it. <laughs> I swear, lad, it's proper heavy. Don't know what you don't know what, what one to go with. Oh, but I fucked up last night when I, I took acid last night, at one in the morning. No, 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 fucked, no, no, you're being fucking. Crazy. I, no, this I half fucked up. one in the morning. I mean, it was half one in the like, morning. We knew right? we were leaving at two, nah, nah, and we knew we. Out. What? Here is out. <laughs> I thought we were going to NQ64, the no. arcade. Yeah. It's all fucking colourful spray paint. Yeah, that would have been. That would have been. Oh, would have been belter. So I was like, I'm in the bar now. I'm on my last paint. I'll have a tab of acid, right? And then I'll, I went back in to finish my last paint. That cunt had necked it. I've one of my mates here. He, he'd neck me paint. I'm there with the truth because I'm a bit nervous about what's about to happen. <laughs> truth, dry mouth, you know. Yeah. That, yeah. And, uh, and then um, I was like, oh, come on, then we'll go to the bar here. And he's like, oh, shut. Aye. So what do you mean it's shut? I've just dropped acid. It's going to kick in. And like, you were looking at him like... Yeah, I'm like, well, who told you to do fucking acid, man? I was <laughs> fucking bang up for a good time. <laughs> Fucking start of the day in Athens, you know, I'm in Liverpool. I was definitely thinking, why didn't you ask me if that was open? Uh, yeah. I, I told you that it was shut too. No, was I, I, I repeatedly told you that it was but shut. But can I just say, I made, made, made a, maybe made a mistake, but I had a belt of time. Aye. Aye. I watched uh, watched the football, watched the Champions League games, high as fuck, and then watched the No McDonald's uh, Comedians in Cars getting coffee. Aye. And it was like a claymation. Like watching their faces, yeah. it was like one of them Wallace and Gromit stop motions and shit. Oh, so yeah, Norm's dad, aren't you know. he, man? Mm, uh, hey. yeah. What a guy. That's it what made so me watch all these So funny, funny right? lad. My half fella up was always sending me clips of him. No, right. from like Saturday night, even from years ago, Saturday night live mm. and that. Just sending me little clips. Like where he used to absolutely terrorise OJ Simpson. Oh, aye, that's, uh, why, he got, oh, yeah, that's why he got fucking dropped off. They were the fu- they're the funniest clips ever, them lad, where aye. he's got just absolutely slating OJ constantly, lad. Uh, I'm sure there's like a 10 minute video on YouTube of him just literally ripping the back out of OJ live on telly. <laughs> <laughs> <It's gonna be. laughs> I, I nearly died last night for about 15 minutes when uh, he asked Seinfeld, he was like, are you ever going to have kids? He was like, I've got three kids. I've got like, a girl and two boys. And Norm MacDonald just went, we'll have to agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Get died. <laughs> he is boss, lad. I, uh, I didn't realise how old he was, to be honest. It was 61, yeah, I, I didn't but mean... he's, he'd been hiding cancer for like nine years. Oh, just crazy, that, you know. Aye. How people can put on a brave face in them situations and just push through is just... Aye. Aye, trust me, if I ever get cancer, I'm going to be a bitch I'm about putting it the that whole on, time. I'm putting that on everybody. Yeah. This will be a cancer podcast now. I yeah. can't <laughs> with cancer. <laughs> Fucking problem shared, me. <laughs> Uh, that. I'll be trying to get stuff for free. Just people like, Paddy, man, feel me, yeah. lump. Feel yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I'd do a show about it, just get all the fucking sympathy, uh, make sure they just have a shirt that just says I'm a brave warrior every day. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, and then just, and then die instantly. I just, I'd have uh, no fight in me. I reckon it was just. Yeah, I'd be all at Disneyland in that. I'd be queuing. Aye. Yeah, yeah no, no, I wouldn't be queuing. No, you wouldn't be queuing. I'd be going to the front. <laughs> I'd finally get to meet Snoop Dogg. I'd put it on my wish. <laughs> <laughs> Apologise to him. <laughs> Apologise, lad. I'm sorry about taking that bit of weed. That little two gram right. that you wouldn't have even noticed. That, exactly. that was you, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was medicinal. It was medicinal. It was medicinal. It was medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad. <laughs> Sick that, you know. Uh, no, it's funny though, lad. We met like, what was it, four years ago? I Something like that, four years ago. Yeah. I come to one of your shows. And I swear to God, lad, I didn't, I didn't realise how dark it was going to be. Oh, and right. that is what I'm about. Was I that, love that sort it, of humour, lad. Was I'll, that the Dead Sisters show or was that the breakup show? The Dead Sisters one, I oh, think. I think it was. I think that, it was, was, that, was, that was the darkest one. I mean, you called it dark. Aye. Uh, aye, that was good because that was about when you were in... Uh, cause his Just for everybody that doesn't know he murdered his sister. Uh, yeah. <laughs> aye, for the likes. Aye. Uh, <laughs> he needed a show. Uh, it's on Netflix if anyone wants to fucking watch it. But his brother's a massive uh, UFC. I mean, we're all big UFC fans, but like... He got us into it. Yeah. yeah, he got us into it. And he was the one that was, back when you were doing uh, Cage Warriors, was like, man, you've got to, like, this kid's going to be uh, the next big thing. And we and uh, you were a fan of ours. It was just one of those nice moments. Where yeah. We were like, hey! <laughs> and then we went out and got unprofessionally fucking drunk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great, though. Like, I swear, some of the jokes... I remember sitting there, me, Chris and Isaac, was sitting because I was with two mates and we were just slapping each other on the leg constantly, just going, yeah. ah, <laughs> slapping each other on the leg, lad. I swear, me and Chris are, were bad for it, lad. We like um, watching all mad stuff on YouTube, Aye. all dark comedians, lad. You watch, where, uh, Je- you seen much of Anthony Jeselnik? You see the oh. dead babies one? Aye, aye, yeah, aye. yeah, we've we've seen him, lad. He's we've seen so him. Fucking good, lad. Man. He, we've watched sat there and watched an hour of him plenty of times, lad. Just different shows. Like, the amount of times it looks like an audience member is going to punch his head in, lad. Uh, it's just crazy. <laughs> I mean, it's surprising he's not been punched. Jeffries was punched. Jeffries was punched, uh, Jim Jeffries. Yeah, I've seen yeah, that one where uh, he gets punched. Punched in the head. Have you, anything like yeah. that ever happened to you? Have you ever had anything like that? No, I'd murder them. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> who I had, who I had a, I, In America, I mean, I've done this, uh, this story in dark, but, like, oh, I, w- yeah. I was doing... I was in like a very redneck part of America, like massively religious Indianapolis. And I had a joke about, you know, God. The basic concept of the joke was like, you know, on Christmas morning when you've bought your kids all these presents and they're so happy and they spend the entire time thanking Santa for the presents. And as a parent, you're like, oh, all right, well, fuck that then. That's exactly how doctors feel whenever you thank God. Thank God. Aye. <laughs> and it was just this bit about, you know, there is no God, etc. In and the Bible it, belt. Aye. And I did it there. And there was just a guy in the front row who just very calmly lifted up his shirt and just showed me his gun. And was just like, you're lucky that I don't shoot you. Now, I don't think he ever It wouldn't would... be very Christian, like. Yeah, it uh, wouldn't. Uh, no, exactly. It wouldn't, well, would it? It would be very Christian. I don't know if you watch much of what's going on in America, but, <laughs> but no. shooting a teenager is an incredibly Christian thing in no, America. Chris, Christians are historically peaceful people. <laughs> <laughs> Those crusades were. Oh, just go around spreading the love of God. Like, uh, I don't understand how people still think God's real. I, I just don't the science now you know what I mean Th- me and Andrew acid last night I've begged to differ <laughs> <laughs> I've come yeah, back with more, also. I've come back with more questions than answers <laughs> yeah, now, uh, uh, thousands of years ago yeah you know what I mean there was a man in the sky say yeah it's sound now everyone, uh, everyone just knows people who are just blind No, oh, there's, there's God there's a man if there's a man in the sky lad watching down on us and he decides what happens he's a cunt uh, uh, and a massive pervert like <laughs> uh, I didn't be omnipresent like some of that stuff when I'm Checking me pails in the mirror. Come on, give us a break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, look the other way, man. How come I'm the one that has to apologise for all my sins when you're the one that gives babies cancer? Exactly. This feels a bit, Lad. This feels a bit dodgy, this yeah. relationship. <laughs> like it's, my, it's, it's, it's not a... Um, it's a just a give, give, not a give and take relationship. Is it's just a take relationship with God, lad? Mm-hmm. Just taking constantly. Yeah, uh, give me that. Yeah, that I want him dead. Yeah, go ahead, give us that. Oh, a flood there. Yeah, go on, flood that. Might as well. I, also, I'm, I'm not praying to God. If He wants me, He can pray to me. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up. I'm not a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's, he's an all-loving God. I mean, I don't think he is. My friends have never made me leave my house every Sunday to go and sing songs about them. Yeah. <laughs> it's a level of narcissism. But, hey, I think that people that do have blind faith in God, they seem to be, they, like, they well. A lot of, like, UFC fighters as well, they'll thank God at the end. And they, that, that, that blind faith in something has given them that faith in their own abilities. Nah, that's it? just Brazilians, that lad. Uh, <laughs> that's, 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 there we are. <laughs> that's just Brazilians, that lad. <laughs> Them Brazilians can't help themselves, lad. They have to thank God after fucking they, they have a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to get off the toilet and get on the knees oh thank you God for come out uh, you know what I mean lad they thank God for anything them lad they're mad I think it's man if I was the fucking trainer I'd be raging yeah. right you're, you're like your guy you've trained him for years like you've missed your kids growing up because you've been like <laughs> in the back of a pickup truck whipping him and he runs down the streets to get his fucking car to you up you've given up so much of your life to train this person to not and they finally win and they're like, I'd like to thank. And you're like, finally, God, motherfucker, are you kidding <laughs> me? I, I'd, I'd change my name to God who despite kind of yeah. people just so See, I can that, get applauded. That is like, like that. one of the first things I say, lad. I want to thank like my teammates and my coaches and that. Right. As if I'm ever thanking God, lad. What has right. he done for me? Right. Right. Fucking, what, what has he done for me? I'm the one that gets up every morning and goes right. to the fucking gym. Imagine throw you throw do- that in next time, man. Shit yeah. the world. <laughs> oh, lad. Well, well, one time I was um, I was meant to fight someone called Joe Gianetti from America. He, he took the give him his due. He took the fight on like a week's notice, but then he come over, miss weight by ten pounds, mm. and still expected me to fight him. Oh. <laughs> and he was go, he was go, like was mad. He was like, "Oh, I've collapsed." His coach was going, "He's collapsed in the in the in the sauna," and, that. and we were like, "Ah, he kind of collapsed in the sauna." Kind of what I mean? He's, mm. And then, lad, as soon as he, he we got he got told lose a few more pounds and we'll fight, get to one sixty and we'll fight. And he sat down, had a bite of a fucking brownie or something, and had a swig of his drink. I was like, lad, what are you doing? But obviously you're not fighting if you're not going to lose more weight. Aye. And he jumped up and started going mad. He's got like, energy now. He's got energy now, but he <laughs> fainted five minutes ago. But then he ended up having a back and forth with his coach, and his coach said something like, uh, or his teammate said something like, um, under the grace of God, um, something this and that, something about God. And I just went, lad, God's not real, though, is he? What are you Aye. going on about? Shut up. Aye. And it, lad, it went viral. Aye. Just people sharing it and that, it know really what I mean? Is. And... Um, because he was about this big as well, and Venti calling him a midget. <laughs> Venti just went, shut up, you, you midget, you can't fight anyone. Because this fella was saying, I'll fight any- I'll fight you, I'll yeah. fight you on a day's notice. And it was the maddest scenario you've ever seen. Like, never seen nothing like it, and he just come out with that, under the grace of God, and then said something else, and everyone just started laughing at him in the whole room. Everyone's like, what's God got to do with this, right. the fact that he's not made weight? What's going on here? Uh, he works in mysterious ways, so yeah. he just wants people to be fat. <laughs> That's it, lad, he's <laughs> just mad. Oh, proper crazy. I couldn't get over it when he... When that happened, but enough of the MMA. It's all I spoke about for like two weeks. Aye. What I did want to talk about was football. Aye. Because uh, your team done the Holy Grail, didn't they, lad? Yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big, horrible Chelsea fan. <laughs> uh, one of the uh, most, uh, probably the most evil team. Uh, maybe apart from fucking Millwall. Aye, Millwalls. Aye. Millwalls. We're all bastards, but fuck, we're successful bastards. <laughs> um, also, Chelsea just have this fucking... I, had I, lad, I, was, I wanted you to win that final so much, though. Aye. I said this on... I done match of the day, X of the day, and there was a woman on there who was a Chelsea fan called Abby, and I was like, I am so happy that you beat City in that. Like, oh, you hate City, aye? Oh, lad, I hate City. Hate City, lad. My big one is... Uh, I love- you didn't hate them as much as Man U, though, did you? No, the only thing as much as Man U, but I just hate, like, I hate United more than Everton. I Aye. hate Man United. I hate them. Like, I hate Michael Owen for going there. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. He's, he's a fucking... piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. He's I've also the best in here with him because yeah. of his uh, sitting on the tune bench day in front Yeah, just <laughs> getting money, uh, sitting getting, on the bench a little bit. And then slagging off when he's booking that. Yeah, he's an horrible oh, bastard in, lad. You've not seen that fucking. Uh, he's, he's a strange man. He can't commentate for shit. Like, he's one of those ones where you just go, ITV, could you stop forcing this man on me? Uh, like, I know he was a good footballer, but he can't. Oh, he's the most boring person in the world. He doesn't watch movies. Oh, lad, he's the most boring person I've ever He doesn't watch fucking. He's I don't understand them. You're like, oh my God. Like, Jesus, oh, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have like any wallpaper out up in his house. Lad, he's, he's come up with some up. stuff for live, and like people have been like, what, "What's he just said?" Like he's lad, some of the stuff that he says live gets put all over Twitter and that. And you're like, lad, how, "How have you even got a brain coming out with stuff like that?" Aye. Some Aye. of the stuff he says, lad, it's like it's like like two add three equals nine. You know what I mean? He's done that. Uh, do you remember that video where there was like some coach like had a young goalkeeper? Oh my in, god, it's... Neville, um, was... Neville Southall. Is that it? Lad, have, you, have you seen it? Yeah. So he's like, have you seen this it? one? I he's got. It. The, he's oh, got get he's... it up, lad. Yeah. Yeah. you'll be able to get it up. Yeah. Neville Southall, Michael Owen, goal. Just type that in, lad. Like this, 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 this coach is just trying to like encourage this kid. Like the kid's about some... twelve. 
and he's trying to teach him goalkeeping, right? And he's like, and we're going to let Michael Owen take some shots against you. And Michael Owen just goes at it 100%. Yeah, as, if he's, as if he's playing. Yeah, this watch, is this it. This is it, lad. Watch this, lad. If you can't win it. Great save, Jane. Well done, mate. What a good save. So you think he's butt hurt by the couple of saves? Yeah. What I tell you. Go. Pointed his name. <laughs> like that. So how will Jamie fare against some long-range efforts? Oh! That means so much to him. Mate. Well done. Uh, he's put some pure effort into it, though, lad, and it just makes you feel sick. <sighs> you lucky man. He's calling him a lucky man. He's about 13. Well done, mate. See how you landed. Come here. <laughs> Oh, the fist pump. The dive, it should be there. Boom. It's what just this last bit when Ned LaSalle says something to him, like, because he's not happy with him and he proper says turning, something to him, having a go with him. Do you not do that in the gym with youngins? Like, when you're training with youngins, you're not just going, put it on them like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, lad. Get in there. Well done, he's 13. <laughs> Didn't say that. <laughs> well done, he's 13. But man, that is like that's the equivalent of like there's a there's a kid from a Make a Wish Foundation, right? And they want to come in and they're like, I, I want to be a UFC fighter, and they get in there and it's like Daniel Cormier, and he just fucking absolutely him. Yeah. It's like man, this isn't for you, this is for them. <laughs> and then like and then jumping on the uh, the fence now, like the yeah, cage. Lad, <laughs> that, lad, no one, don't, don't care what kid. anyone says. That just shows you how much of a cunt. Michael Owen is. Oh, we knew he was a cunt anyway, but that yeah. just shows you even more how much of a cunt he is, lad. That's why he doesn't like films, because he's not in it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got to be about him. <laughs> That's a fucking brilliant show. Oh, right. And he defo can't read, so he doesn't sit in his house and read. Because if you can't watch a film, you can't read. I'm not asked. There's no in, two ways about it. He's mm. into, like... I think he's into... He says horse racing, but I reckon he's just into horse breeding and just because... He likes watching them shy. <laughs> it's not even for like it's not even like a money thing. It's just like he's just cool. didn't. Had someone didn't he get someone was telling me this the other week? Didn't he get a race cut track done in his house? Did he? Like had his house got like a race course done for his horse. He's probably got a speed limit on it. And he done it the wrong, <laughs> he done it the wrong way round. So the horses were running the wrong way round, and he had to get it all uh, dug up and built again because <laughs> horses only run one way. Do they? Is that yeah, right? horses only run one way when they go round the course. Wait, could you not just turn them around? That's what I mean. That they had to, they had to like fully dig the thing up and do it get, again. If you're going clockwise as right. a horse, just race them that way. That's, a, that's what I thought, but he said no because a horse racing technical shit. They had, to, again. they had to actually rip the whole course up and do the course again. Maybe they didn't. Maybe Michael was that's just. That's what he gets. Oh, I reckon they had him. I reckon yeah. the joint yeah. builders had him. Build that's it, what yeah. he gets though. In it for sitting on the bench for Newcastle and fucking yeah. not playing, lad. The piece yeah. of shit. That's a that's a Jordy fucking land, landscape garden. Yeah. That's seeing that yeah. like, I'm going to lads. I'm going to claw some of this money back. Uh, put it yeah. back in the club. Sorry, so, sorry, mate. Your your circle race course. It's the wrong circle. It's the circle goes the wrong way around. We're going to have to dig it. Needs to be more like an oval. Let's take you know in my brother's house, right? He's a the bathroom door, right? It turns up like that. The handle, it fucking. And it's disconcerting. You're in the bathroom, you think you're locked in, and then you kind of hands up. And he was like, Oh, I bought it for the wrong side of the door. I was like, There isn't a the wrong side of the door. You just like flip it, flip round, it around run, yeah. and put it on the other side. He's <laughs> like, All oh, right, I. <laughs> Mike Lund's basically just done that. Just nonchalant. All right, I. Uh, yes, that. <laughs> that makes sense. No, I think yeah, he's it. not flipping that round. Uh, we can't be arsed, can he? That's uh, just uh, staying like that forever now. That's his, oh, that's he his bathroom. Yeah, door. He quite likes it now. It's a design element on the house. Yeah. He likes to see how his guests like screaming and knocking. <laughs> <laughs> he he can answer the taps now and he puts like a red ring on the cold tap, blue ring on the hot <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked you about it. In fact, I, I had a few lads down from Middlesbrough Sparring the other week, nice. and they were telling me about these Parvos. Parmo. Parmo. That's Parmo. it. Aye, that's, Parmo. That's a more Middlesbrough thing. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what it is, you know, but I think well, it's. Well, trying to explain to me, it's it, like deep fried bread with like a chicken, a whole thing of chicken in between, aye. and it's got like bechamel cheese and proper cheese on top melted. Lad, it sounds heavy. Right. Right. And there's, uh, really? I think it was like tomato sauce. And as well. a big yeah, thing you that, can get aye. it with like tomato sauce or garlic mayo. There's but a big like thing I'm, that Kelly Rowland's like took an interest in the muscle mix, so they got a bit of heat there. And when she was, I was just like, oh, I, I've never, I'd never heard of one until the Hardwick brothers come down to spar with us. They're from Middlesbrough, and they were like, oh, one of the things by us is a palmo. Uh, I was like, palmo. What's the palmo? what's the typical fucking like scouse thing at the end of the night if you're when you're steaming or you're baked? What would be? Your... See, it's so funny the way you say steaming. You say like steaming as in pissed, don't you? Aye. When we say steaming in Liverpool, it's like you want to get your nuts. 
Uh, oh, yeah, you mean, horny. Like, oh, yeah, you're horny. Like, oh. you, what do you eat when you're horny, Paddy? That's yeah, what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like if it was like she, she's oh, steaming it, oh, like it wouldn't be she's drunk. It'd be she's horny. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, right. Oh, like man. it always makes me laugh when I'm watching programs and they go, "Oh, I'm steaming." It's like. Oh, she's the, and the, oh no, they mean drunk, don't they? I'm glad you've, like, t- I'm glad you've told us that, like. Uh, yeah. I, I <laughs> that could have been a real faux pas, like. No, I just yeah. mean the boys were out steaming last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where, where was, lad? It's like, pissed. Uh, you know I, mean? mm. I was pissed or I was smashed. What was like the one that, that I, I'd got wrong for years? Poop? Oh, I've, man. Like, I, so this is not like our first tour. He goes... What was it? What age was I, like, 28 years old or something? All right, one of the car and he goes, I've just pooped. And I'm like, you fucking what? And he's got a history of shitting himself, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, but... Didn't <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring that up on the podcast, yeah. mate. I tell, you, I tell you this stuff in secrecy. Uh, That's private and confidential. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, I've just pooped. I'm like, you fucking better not. And he goes, oh, it just means far. And I'm like, poop does not. Poop doesn't mean far. In my life, it's meant far. I was like, my parents played a trick on us here. Uh, I mean, parents just conditioned us. And, and he was, you were so fucking convinced. I was, was convinced. He, he, goes, he goes, all right, we'll go on Twitter and we'll do a fucking poll and we'll see. Right, I bet you it's like 50 50. And it was like 99. I thought it was a Jory thing. 99% of people were like, poop absolutely means shit. And it turns out it's like just people on his fucking street. I honestly, 1% of people that were like, yeah, poop means fart. Aye. It was people that lived like in a one mile radius from my house. <laughs> so, so I don't know, know how this little community got the wrong fucking memo, but I just relived my whole life when I'm just like, oh, my brother used to pin us down and poop in my face <laughs> <laughs> oh my girlfriend I wonder people thought that that was me, fucked up my girlfriend poops in bed <laughs> <laughs> holds my head under the covers <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, with a big steamer <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'll tell you what I thought you were talking about the face following through like uh, shat, uh, shat. I'd done that on a run once uh, man. Uh, please tell this story oh, <laughs> mate it was the fucking worst I was like I was pushing it. I was trying to push for a PB for 5K, right? And I was like, fucking, I'd pick me route, had my headphones on, I'm running. And I, I looked at me, like, I had the Nike, Nike Go thing. Yeah, yes. yeah, where did I was on your arm. And I, I'm looking and it's like, and now I need to up my pace for the last couple of hundred metres if I'm going to knock a couple of seconds off my time, right? So I start digging deep and I need a shit, right? But I'm just like, just fucking hold on, you'll get your shit, right? And I'm fucking running, I'm running, I'm, fu- I'm dying. And now it's like when you're pushing yourself, yeah. right? And if fucking... Your breath's like that. <laughs> I was dying, mate. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can, I can hold this in, and then it just it didn't ask for me permission. My body just let it do it. And I'm not on a boot like a wet fart. I'm on a boot like a full log. <laughs> and I look, I look, I look at me GPS paddy right, and I'm like, I've got like 50 meters left to go. I was not gonna stop running. So it's just <laughs> fucking washing away my ass like this, right? And I'm like, nah, yeah, right. And I fucking me, me phone went, duh, 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 you've beat your PB for fucking five kilometers. Or like Sally Gunnell's voice or whatever the fuck's on the app, right? And I'm like, yes, oh, <laughs> you get get this kicker. I didn't run in a loop to my house. I ran fucking five kilometers away from home. <laughs> You're messing. I'm not messing, mate. It's because of the gradient. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Did one of your mates not drive by? Nah, I fucking twisted that for stand up. Right, like, right. I, I basically, uh, basically, I was walking home and it started raining. Right, and my biggest fear was that because I know everybody in my neck of the woods. Yeah, I know literally everybody. So my head's doing because a car stops and offers as a lift when I'm walking in the rain. What am I meant to do? I can't, well, I can't get in. No, you can't. I can't get in the oh, car. What? I'm just enjoying this walk. I, I, need, I, I, need, I need the rain. It covers up cool the tears. Annoying, like, and I'm going to level with you now. <laughs> I had a little cry. <laughs> <laughs> I let it into tear. I can't believe this. Yeah, it's all right. I'm PBP. PBP. But then I've got shit all down my leg. <laughs> uh, and I was like, I'm, I'm fucking crying. It's raining. If I get pulled out, I'm like, what would I even do? And I was like, Oh, I might just like tell him my dad's died. Can I someone look at you and go, you're all right, look like you've been molested, mate. Uh, <laughs> I mean, my ass is sore. <laughs> <laughs> Got the damage without any of the joy. I know, like, I've know what the worst thing is, though. I've done that, but water loading. There's no one you've got to fight with. Uh, you've got to drink eight litres of water. I've done that, but uh, like followed through and went... And I had to just run to the toilet, lad. I think it was, was in a fight at a hotel as well with everyone there because you're drinking eight litres of water a day. And I'm, mm. I'm, I'm bad, me, lad, when it comes to fart. And I'll just go um. and have a big fart in front of anyone. I'm not asked. Lad, I've done it one day in like the reception of a hotel <laughs> and went, oh my God, it's wet. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. I had to go to my room dead no quick, lad, and fucking clean up, lad. Oh, rough. But it was just all water because I was just drinking that much water nah. and hardly eating anything. 
You know, when you're like, you know, you've got them brewing them wet farts, you not make like an arse tampon. Yeah. Make a little fucking wedge it up there like a sonic towel. That's it's going, ah, nah, it's coming. Ah, nah, it's coming. It's a sad shout. It's like, what a, shout a, at the same what a time. sad life hack you're giving <laughs> me. I, I just let myself trust a fart on a bad day. <laughs> It's better than wearing a nappy, though. Uh, it's better than wearing I'm a nappy. I just, I just, I just, I just be, it's slightly better it's than wearing a nappy. It's much better than wearing a nappy, lad. I couldn't think of nothing much worse than wearing a nappy. Aye, uh, but um, yeah, I wanted to talk about it by the Chelsea winning the Champions League. That's why uh, I brought footy up before. What was it like? Uh, oh man, I was shit in my fucking pants because like Chelsea have a really interesting history of we've got it's a revolving door manager club right yeah and i i don't like that aspect of it i think, I think we're, they've got the right man now though Maybe yeah yeah but, very good. especially but how, how you see like managers getting disrespected like Aye. like Di Matteo won, yeah. won the Champions League and then just got shafted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got fucking. Uh, I thought I thought Antonio Conte was hard done by. Oh, Mourinho's first season, he was absolutely fucking hard uh, done by. Like we've we've really like stabbed some managers in the yeah, back. Conte, Aye. I think, was, was, a, was a big one. Like he, he, he took the us, league. He took, yeah. us, he took us from tenth to first, to first in a season. Yeah, which is just silly. Um, and then Tush, Tuchel came in and. Uh, I mean, I didn't even know too much about him. I know he'd lost. I knew him when he was Dortmund manager, like, because he took over after Klopp, didn't he? And then he went to PSG, and he literally got sacked from PSG for saying something. Aye, and yeah, yeah it he wasn't also... like because of results, he got sacked over saying something about yeah. one of the sponsors, and he just went sound bye bye. Oh fucking well. Like he never, he never got sacked because of results. Aye, and Chelsea will never fire anyone for saying anything. <laughs> we're like, say what you want, man. We're a horrible <laughs> couple of bastards. Aye. Um. So we did. Uh, we were watching at a friend uh, Matty's house, and I'm, I'm a, I get nervous, man. Like I can't. I'm really. I'm such a fucking. I, fickle no, what we fan. do need to find the, the picture that people think is Dan in a Liverpool top. Oh <laughs> man, that happens all the fucking. Have seen this? Uh, yeah, type in what? crying Liverpool fan, and oh, it just gets seen. sent to me all the time. You've got to type in crying Liverpool fan. Aye, and that's the number one hit. Uh, I thought there'd be millions. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, top first result. There it is. Look at that man. <laughs> oh, there he is. I've seen, I've seen him. But I get that. Lads, all the, the amount time. of times I've seen people tweeting you that and like and commenting on it and, uh, and tagging you in it when it's on like the sport bible or something. I swear to God, it it just tickles me so much. Lad. You can tell how old that is. Look at the webs. Look at uh, them Sadies, lad. Them uh, Reeboks. They are snide. Them. Looks like he's got a pair of midi he's on or something. No. I. Uh, I, uh, what was the game? Can you remember the heartache? What was it? I think that that's 07. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. <laughs> I'm like, that's I, not me. You I, fucking I, can't. Can I show you hold it for us? I think that's uh, that's 07, that when we lost the Champions League final. Is it? Uh -oh. Yeah, because that was the kit we had. Where is he now? Can you see where Crying score. Liverpool fan is now? See what he looks like. He's <laughs> <laughs> sat there, lad. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, City, were, City were fucking brilliant all season. Yeah, I think Pep's just an idiot, lad. It has uh, to be too smart. Aye. And he's, to... he's never beat Tuchel. I don't know why he doesn't want to No, he's with... never, ever beat Tuchel, ever. Uh, never yeah, in any like, game. Every single time he's... Because we beat him in the... I think it was the FA Cup the week before. And he's this, beat him in the league. Aye, uh, in the league. And it was just going... Like, normally, uh, whenever you go against City, you're like, this isn't going to go well. I remember us thinking, yes, yeah, City will do us a favour beating you because uh. obviously we still need to get Champions League. And... You just beat them, didn't you? And you're like, oh, fucking hell, we're, we're no way we're getting third now. And then Arsenal beat Chelsea. Aye, aye. <laughs> Arsenal's, my, Arsenal's my fucking... I love how shit they are. We've got such like, a disproportionate amount of friends who support Arsenal. Aye, so many comedians... Oh, Loads yeah, Arsenal, so, so many comedians are Arsenal fans. Like, aye, yeah. Yeah, aye. like a weird number. I, I would say, like... You know what? Because the comedian friends are similar age to you, right? That like that are from Scotland and Ireland. They chose that team when Arsenal Even had on Yeah, yeah aye, when they were the Invincibles. Yeah. Aye, but the man, we're so, talking like Dad Aubrey and Jack Whitehall, Ramesh yeah. Ranganath and Rob Beckett. Uh, like... Like there's and the, and that list goes on and on and then there's like more circuit ones like so many of them and they just they just constantly fuck up they lose in uh, such my, an Arsenal my way. My uncle lives in Islington as well. My uncle John. Aye. And lad, he hates Arsenal because yeah. of that. Cause like he lived there when the Invincible season happened and all that. So he hates Arsenal. So we're like seeing the way they are now. He's in his like that. Yes. 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 But it's also because they're such unbearable bad fans. losers. Yeah. Aye. <laughs> so you watched it with an Arsenal fan the Champions League final. Yeah, and, dead eye, and it was yeah. For, for, well, it would be a long time before he gets to watch his team do anything in the Champions League. Yeah, like, but to be fair to him, he was good. Like I was, 
worried that like if we got fucking battered, he was going to rub it in my face and I don't think I would have been able to take it. But he was gracious and Aye. a good host and I didn't rub it in his face too much. But I think I watched I watched the match like immediately again the next day because I was so nervous watching while watching it. Watching it. The time. Like yeah. I couldn't watch us objectively like I thought we were playing shit just because I kept seeing us like miss passes and what I mean I didn't think Canty was playing shit Canty in the game Canty was, was fucking mad well, uh, he's, he's next James level Reece James, Reece James, James I, I can't say he's next level I, I, he does my head and he turns up for one season and just absolutely rips shit up all season he's, he's, he's so good he's, I think he's, he's I think he's underrated uh, like, yeah yeah. Uh, he should because like, like he should be in the talk for the Ballon d'Or yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, should, should he should be like, his name should be when he is on the pitch I think he is everywhere I if never, if I had never, a better Euros or France had had a better Euros yeah, yeah he'd, he'd be in there definitely in. right you can't, you can't like win a World Cup and a Champions well, League and then like not be in the name yeah. Messi's going to get it in because he won the Copa America with Argentina oh fucking Messi's going to win it I bet he also went to fucking PSG like an absolute and now have you seen that front, the French league isn't in the top five leagues anymore yeah oh it's really it's, be, it's not in the top I think oh, I think the Portuguese league has took over it has for competitiveness it? Aye. Well, oh, man, yeah. I, like that, the, for me, like, is I'm with you. Like, I, I, I don't like, I don't hate United, but I love watching them do badly. But the second Ronaldo went back to the Premier League, that was when the conversation about the goat was over. Like, because well, because he's he's gone back, man. The Premier League is the best league. Yeah, there's a lot of the world. Like, you've I got hate, to prove yourself. He's for extended me, his though, legacy. Isn't yeah, he, he is. Like, for me, Messi is the goat, just aye. because it's for me. It's like his ability is just like even though we know God's not real. Uh, it's like God given, you yeah. know what I mean? Where everything Ronaldo's done is hard work. He's put his body in them uh, to be uh, the yeah. best athlete going. Where with Messi, it's just like God given talents, what he can do with the ball at his feet. And he, uh, just, he just turns up all the time. I remember one time I was like... And they're both so... Like the, the conversation to go, like they're both... The, like uh, the so them two are the best players so ever. Like, it's I, crazy how I reckon we got to watch them. At yeah, the same how lucky time. we are. Uh, I reckon I'm, I'm gonna probably try and get tickets for the Man City PSG game just because I want to see him in my lifetime. Uh, like, and also, it's dead easy to get tickets to a City uh, game. City yes. game you know, I can <laughs> well, see what Guardiola said this I'll week. Just pee on the door. Uh, well, what Guardiola said this embarrassing. week embarrassing come out saying him I'd happen. like there to be more of the fans there against Southampton at 3pm lad if you have to say that uh, about your team a Premier your, League I winning side the players are going to need to be tired they need help you uh, uh, know what I mean supposedly the best team in the, in the fucking world and you can't fill your stadium it's embarrassing lad uh, uh, I've uh, got a mate there a lad who does private to me he's from Stockport and he was like lad most of them City fans are Stockport fans I was like what and he was like listen I, I still support Stockport, but loads of lads I know who are Stockport fans through and through just support City now because it's City and they've got all the money and they've won all the trophies. Like half them aren't even proper City fans. Yeah, they've all just jumped on board. I uh, like any anybody that used to support City at Main Road must say it all the time. Like, yeah. must be like you know vegans have got to tell you they're vegans. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be like I supported them b- b- before. You know. Yeah, like that last season, like when they won the league, and they showed like few fans outside the ground like that yeah. I was in bit laughing my head off thinking did you see Anfield Aye. did or, you or see Liverpool what Anfield was like <laughs> know what I mean or oh, yeah or oh, the Albert yeah. Docht in it two days later lad Aye. they don't even know how to celebrate the team winning something lad it's embarrassing Aye. that must have been a fucking huge relief for you after all the years to oh, yeah. get the Premier League lad after all the Wait, years of me getting I was in ours watching it lad watching Aye. the Chelsea game when we well when we lifted the trophy yeah. that one I was in ours. Um, I can remember Jamie's song. Come on, lad. Jamie Webster's song. It's all the highlights of us through that season. Oh, lad, that was unbelievable. Lad. And I went the night Chelsea beat City. Aye. Went to Anfield that night as well. <laughs> Everyone just setting fireworks off, flares going off and that, lad. It was oh, unbelievable. You couldn't move, lad. You know what I mean? You were like that, squashing through people, trying to get past. The whole of Anfield was just shocker. And like... What would you say was like the last, and I don't mean this as a slam, but what was like the last the, big Newcastle achievement? The, the championship, we won the championship. Oh, right, that one, right. <laughs> and was that, yeah, that would have been still exciting. I mean, yeah, it was good to come back up. But like, I, like, I was with course, course, Genius the other day, lad. What just think of him? Yeah. I, uh, you know what, I, I'm, I'm starting to warm him a bit with his punditry, but yeah. like, I, I, just, I didn't like the way he talked about Newcastle when he left and that. Like, he was just oh, didn't, didn't he speak about Adam? Nice yeah, he was going on saying like he was in a goldfish bowl and everyone's into your business and all that. And he'd, like, he just didn't talk Kindly after he left, yeah, he, was like, yeah. he basically just said I had a shit experience. But I also think was he not in that generation of players that disrupted the dressing room with Bobby Robson? 
In Bobby Robson. Yeah, he like, was very close uh, to Bobby Robson, were not he? Was he? Yeah, Genus was very close was, to Bobby Robson. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't know that. Like, um, I just know I think that it was when like Dyer and all that played. Dyer, yeah, it was Dyer, Boyer. Boya, uh, I saw those the two fights. I, I was at that match where they fought was on the you? pitch. I, I saw Sick. that fight in front. It's a place empty, man. Loads of people just left. Guy, and I'm not watching me play a scrap, and right. they just left. Like, I've punched people. I still hung around. Like, I want to see if they're going to round two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> more entertaining than the footy. This. It's Bellamy and Al. Is that that they were in that time? Aye. But uh, aye, like it, we've we've just I don't know what's happened to our club. Like, well, I do know what's happened. Mike Ashley, I, I just happened, can't but... believe that he's got rid of Rafa and got Steve Bruce in. Oh, oh, yeah. Like but, that is just. And Rafa it. wanted to fucking stay as well. Rafa wanted to stay, just wanted a bit of money, and then he legged Rafa, got Steve Bruce in, and give him money. What? Uh, <laughs> it it, blew, it blows me mind. And Steve Bruce just saps. He, he de-skills players. Like he he saps the confidence out of them because he'll set up to to respond to the opposition. Yeah. Right. Which sometimes I didn't mind if you do that with Chelsea, right? Because you may pinch a winner, and it's been done before. Yeah. Right? But you set up like that against West Brom. You know, like last yeah, season, you can't and, and you can't, you can't, why, why, why don't you impose yourself on the teams that you should be beating and the players will go out there with a bit of confidence and their own ability rather than being told to react to people. So I feel like he, he gets the, the worst out of, yeah. out of some good lads. No, we do like the you've got at the minute, like Callum Wilson, me. I yeah, like him. I, look, he was at I love him. I love Al- Alan St. Maximum. Alan St. Maximum. I've got, got a big soft Maximum. spot from uh, Miggy Almiron on me. I like, I like watching him. Yeah. I think he's exciting. He's a super sub him, lad. Whenever he comes on, he bags. Mm-hmm. Oh, who was that one last season that come on and scored against us in fact Matty Longstaff yeah. no that was uh, no, he scored the, against Man U sorry the one who scored against us and got because remember he's got a goal disallowed at Anfield then you scored again like a minute later was it Dwight Gale he was on loan I think oh on, yeah Joe Willock Joe he Willock, scored seven goal, right. games in a row at the yeah. end of the season like, kept, he just kept come up. on against us lad, his, and scored his kept just up. like what, who yeah. is this kid yeah, well, he's, he's, he's just come on against us and scored so, so basically we signed him right and uh, we've got rid of like you know the people that weren't playing but like uh, Andy Carroll and Atsu yeah, yeah. and stuff like that right like so we we shared a bunch of with Florian Lejeune we, f- we shared a bunch of players and pull in the player that we bought on loan like we brought in on loan but we'll buy him so the, the team has got worse so we've spent money to get worse alright <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then... We're, Isn't we're, Chelsea have done that a couple of times? Yes. <laughs> Isn't Cavalon like a pay-when-you-play contract now, though? He's not, he's not there anymore. Oh, isn't he there? Yeah, like, well, yeah. last season, wasn't he on a play? And they when didn't, you play they didn't even make any fanfare when they release a player. They just like find out on like a Twitter or something. Like, oh, right, they're gone. Aye. And they farewell. That's like the there. UFC, though, lad. Is it? The UFC done that the other week with um, Jamie Rivera and Damian Meyer. Didn't Both put, just gone. Didn't uh, put not enough. And a new like loyal just, servants now, like long, yeah. Uh, someone like Damien Meyer's been with them for like 14 as long as I years. remember, yeah. Yeah, know what I mean. He fought Anderson Silver in like mm-hmm. UFC 112 or something in Dubai, been been there for years. I oh, would, would be a Hall of Famer, and you're just like, yeah, fucking don't let literally the door just hit. got, yeah, see you after, bro, you're gone. Mm. Same with the who was it the other week, the heavyweights over him and JDS, just yeah. yeah, see you after, kid, your contract's done. Mm. <laughs> fucking over him was there. Uh... My f- the first UFC fight I ever watched was uh, over in. Oh, bro! Uh, no, no, it was uh, the, the kick Bigfoot the, the, Silver. His... Bigfoot Silver. Yeah. That one way. Oh, like, that was brutal. Because uh, his eyes pulled up with blood, didn't they? Because yeah. he's got quite sunken eyes, doesn't he? He got him. Um, not over he's got giants. Uh, Antonio. Uh, uh, is that Antonio what it is? Bigfoot Silver. That's why his face is like that. He has. Mm. He, he actually has giantism. Uh, like, he like, feels like he should be walking into the cage on a chain, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, with one of them big clubs. Caveman. He's a big dude. Him. I'll never forget him beating Fado, because even though Fado had just been beat by Vadum, I just didn't mm. see Bigfoot beating him. Uh, well, oh, yeah. man, Overeem wasn't expecting to get beat because he fucking was, he was all over him in the first, and then Overeem like, just did something that like disrespected yeah, uh, Bigfoot, was, and Bigfoot I just went fucking nah, snapped. Nah, 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 yeah. like, there was one point because I think it, he was two rounds up, weren't he? But Overeem was two rounds up, winning comfortably. Yeah. And yeah. then in the third round, Bigfoot was, just came out all mad. Uh, <laughs> knocked him out, but because Overeem, Overeem was against the ca- cage, he was knocked out, but he wasn't hitting the ground. And Bigfoot Silver just kept punching him up. Yeah, up like, so just keep so him he on didn't his fall down. Feet, so that was twenty twelve. Well, what? Hey, uh, Jacob, get that up, bud. The Overeem versus Bigfoot Silver. Did he not have a similar turnaround against Travis Brown as well? Did he not have Travis a bit and then Travis come back from? Yeah, it was was it Travis who hit Overeem with the teep up the middle? I think I oh, hit him on the chin. I think it was. Overeem's done that a few times. I'd been dominating a fight, got a bit too comfy, mm-hmm. and then got caught with a big shot later on in the fight. I mean, fair play to anyone that steps into the fucking arms. God, this is terrifying. This shit. Oh, yeah, nah. <laughs> See the way you say that though. Oh, me yeah. thinking about standing on stage 
I would think of a difference. So many people uh, and talking. Aye, but if think your the... job goes badly, you can die. Like if, I, <laughs> if, if my job job goes goes badly, I don't get a blow no, job. No, it could. Uh, no, it could. Your job. Uh, just imagine he pulled uh, it out. Aye, yeah. aye. <laughs> <laughs> imagine he went. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you could die, lad. <sighs> I don't know. I want. I want to see this bit where he's got him against the cage. That because you've you've reminded me of that bit when you said it then. Because he literally has him against the cage. And just holds him, him fucking up. Him up. Here we go. Yes. Oh, no down way, he no. goes. And then runs Aye. back over to scream at him. You know what I mean? I want his skin off his back. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. The way he runs back over. Going, ah! So good. I'd have watched some mad videos lately of people celebrating after fights. Though. I've seen people get disqualified celebrating their win. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, but like in, one in, of them is the fellas that like on the floor there, the kip flat on his front, <laughs> and this fella stands on his back and does a front flip. Oh, <laughs> see it? Yeah. Shut and up. jumps on his back, does a front flip, and jumps up and goes like that. And he ends up getting disqualified and losing the fight. So he lost. So he lost. The, <laughs> the kid that got knocked out won. You know what I mean? Aye. It's the maddest one ever. He, he wakes up in hospital and just a belt draped over his shoulder. Yeah. He's like, eh? <laughs> and like, have you seen the Adesanya one where he does that to Costa? Uh, no. Have you seen that? Where Adesanya bingos Costa, doesn't uh, he? Yeah. And then like he's hitting him there and Costa like turns away into Turtle. And like he's, he's like behind him in Doggy yeah. and he just goes like that. You know what I mean? Before the <laughs> uh, finish. Try hub some. I think, is this the front flip one? Yeah. I'd watch this lad. Look, he's a kip. Yeah. I need help, need help for that leg. <laughs> yeah, you can. can't do that. So did did they raise the hands? Did they? He gets did, did they in the moment they cue yeah, him. Yeah, I think it shows it. Because that's now. hilarious if they, if they raise his hand when he comes round. Yeah, they do. Well, that's oh. what they want. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the Sandy Costa right there. Lad, mad dad. Straight in. Just go to that. the end of this and you'll see it, lad. He like humps him. Did you hear Costa's excuse for why he lost this fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Drank too much wine the night before. Is that what he said? Yeah. Go oh, I must sesh. have had too much red wine the night before. Why were you having any red wine, you daft cut? Uh -huh. What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Just dry him some, lad. Disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> Just dry him some like that before did, he gets did, off. Did he get in trouble for that or no? I don't think he did, you know. Nah, because he... I, I don't think he did get in trouble for that. See that, um, do you get disqualified if you throw someone at the cage, you get disqualified? So if you right. throw someone at the cage, they win. Uh, I don't even know, if, you know, that's a mad one, that. Like, if, if you... Pff, lad, you'd probably get disqualified, yeah, for throwing yeah. someone out the cage, because it's to... not a fucking Hell in a Cell match. Oh, yeah, I used I mean? to have that fucking... Yeah, when he jumped on, he could have hurt him. Like he could have injured that fella on the floor. He could have snapped his back or anything, jumped on his back. That's why they fucking like that should, done that. that should be like like a criminal inquiry on that. Yeah, because right. the man's unconscious. You know yeah. what I mean? The fight's over. The fight's like, over. That, I've that's... seen ones where the fella knocks him out and then he keeps hitting him, and the ref pulls mm. him off, and he pushes the ref off, and he carries on hitting him. Wow, They're that's... ones where you should be getting arrested. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a murder you actually attempt. should be. Uh -huh. Yeah, because that's. Grievous bodily harm, lad. Right. You're on top of someone, hitting them while they're unconscious. Who oh. was it that um, Herb Dean just let it go far too long? Oh, I could Luke name Rockhold. 90, uh, yeah. it's Herb Dean, Luke, Luke Rockhold and uh, Chris Weidman. And he yeah. just let him punch Chris lad, Weidman. There's, there's, there's loads, lad. But the, one of the worst ones I've seen, lad, is a women's fight. Um, Shevchenko versus that uh, Priscilla. Uh. The one who Molly beat when she had the fucked up eye and ran away. Middle thing, uh. innit? Yeah. Shevchenko fought here and wow. You want to see the beating she put on her? Uh, no, no. Um, Priscilla, her name is. Like, get that one up. Shevchenko versus Priscilla. Like, she gets on top of her, mounted triangles her. I mean, um, crucifixes her and just elbows her. It's Yamasaki. Mario right. Yamasaki um, has never done a UFC fight since. Dana White has not let him referee one UFC fight since wow. this fight. That's how bad it was, lad. Really? Like, oh. Yeah, Molly's fought here on the right. But this was a this was a UFC debut. She took the fight on short notice, and lad, this Shevchenko just absolutely hates her. Shevchenko's still going, aye? Yeah, she's fighting Saturday. Fuck yeah! Uh, oh no, is it this Saturday or next Saturday? She's fighting next Saturday. Yeah, she's fighting next Saturday. Who else is on that card? There's another title fight: Ortega versus Volkanovski. Yeah, and um, Robbie Lawler versus Nick Diaz too, Lola. which will be heavy. Yeah. Look, mounted cru uh, crucifix, yeah. And then look, she's literally... Robbie Lola had hair last time they fought. Yeah. She traps her arm now, though. She traps her arm. And just... Uh, 
like literally. Oh, I, I mean, this is I. This is what I mean. And the Amazon. Uh, just... What's he expecting from her? <laughs> oh, I stay down. And then he doesn't even do it for the TKO. She gets choked. Like Dana. I didn't like that. Look how nah. much blood's about, and it's just all off one bed. Like Dana come out after that fight and was like, Mario Samisaki will not referee a UFC fight. Aye, I'd rather have a bad stand up gig. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, to, just to conclude. Uh, <laughs> and be caked in blood like that. Uh, I just feel a bit sad when I go to bed. <laughs> but, you know, no, re remember my kids' names. One of the maddest ones that the kids. commission came out with me to last week was don't jump on the cage after your fight. I was like, what? You must have watched me highlights and seen I always jump on the cage. Aye. But they were like, if you jump on the cage, you get 50% of your purse took. Really? I went, what? On what grounds? In case he did structural damage in the... No, in case you ate thing. his own self. Oh. I haven't been a fight. <laughs> Lad, some kid jumped on the cage a couple of weeks ago on the Contender Series. Jumped off. Popped his knee when he jumped off. His knee popped out of place, you know what I mean? Yeah. Had to get like MCL surgery or something, whatever it was. So because of that now... It's one person I always spoiled it for everybody, yeah. isn't it? Oh, like, right. you can't even... It's like, like the, kid, the, the kid that got British Bulldog banned in school. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I couldn't even jump on the cage to hug me coach in that. You know oh, what I mean? Right. Like, oh. it was just mad. They said 50% uh. of your purse get took. I was like, what? 50%? Oh, right. <laughs> Are you messing? <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, that's... That's like a, really a little right. fine or something. Yeah, sound. 50%. But that's mad. half the showmanship, some of the best Yeah, like, but it's just after. Vegas. It's just, play, it's just Vegas. Just Vegas. Right, got you. So, like... Where, where anything goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just that one commission said no one yeah. can jump off the cage no more, which is mad, because, like, Michael Chandler, Justin Gagey uh. are fighting each other. That one might be in Vegas, I'm not too sure, but they both jump on the cage and do a backflip when they fight. Mm. Yeah. So... Oh, God, that will be a fucking good fight as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going Gagey, mate. I, lo I love Gagey. He's just I one of those Gagey, fighters that... that uh, he if just you don't like Gagey, you don't like fighting sports. Yeah. Yeah. Simple as. If you don't like Justin Gagey, you don't like fighting. Anyone that just enjoys fucking uh, throwing down problems. Like Max, remember, Max, remember, Max Holloway. Uh, Max, remember when Johnny Hendricks was him, good? Man. He points at the, lad, remember you, when Johnny Hendricks was, was good? good. Oh, oh, when he was just it? lamping people. Did he shave his beard off? And it was all, all his powers were good. It was all the IVs, lad. Oh, That's yeah. what it was. He was cutting that much weight that he needed an IV to replenish himself for the next day. And because, like... The UFC brought a thing in, no IVs, can't use IVs no more. That just absolutely fucked him up. Mm -hmm. And I think all the years of cutting weight as a wrestler, because he wrestled first, didn't he, before yeah. he came into the UFC. And like all the years of cutting weight, it just fucked him up. Because he ended up missing welterweight two or three times. Then he fought at middleweight and missed middleweight two, twice, mm -hmm. I think. You know what I mean? And that's 15 pounds heavier. Yeah. Like, <sighs> He used to. Yeah. He just used to love. He used to love punching cunts, and he used he to was, love getting lad, punched that, as that well. That John Fitch moved, knockout is moved. just. That's up there uh, with the best knockouts ever. That one left hand he lands, and he just absolutely puts some sparkle. Yeah, he's just is. constantly moving this forward. As well. Look at it. Ten seconds yeah, in. Boom, oh, boom! Didn't even need that second punch. Aye. And that's how you know he's fucked because he's trying to wrestle the ref. Aye, that's, you can, that's aye. when you know aye, people. Yeah. That's when you can't complain about the stoppage because you've tried to shoot in on the ref. Like, <laughs> you, know I mean? you, cannot, you cannot complain about the stoppage when you are trying to shoot in so on the ref. are the refs all a bit handy for them eventualities? Though? Man, have you ever seen, oh, I've seen the video the other day what proper dumb me head in. You know, know what, you know what I'm talking about, don't you, Dan? I got Bad, this ref, um, this ref, this fella gets his head, gets TKO'd bad. You know what I mean? He's half unconscious. And he jumps up and tries to wrestle the ref where the mm. ref stops it. Just like the ref seen. puts him in a guillotine. <laughs> Does he? And chokes him. Oh, I'll have a go. Chokes him unconscious. Aye. Just lets go of him and walks away like laughing. With a fucking swag. And jumps on the cage. Yeah. Yeah. Half like, his like he's just won a fight, lad. It's so infuriating. Again, here we go. Yeah, look, I don't think he lets go. Just, yeah, look, yeah. he doesn't let go. That's, that show's got that being a good ref, though, lad. You can't fucking keep hold of it, Shoke. Goddard can handle himself as well, though, you know. Aye. Yeah. Lad, no, Goddard's yeah. fought, lad. He's fucking dead. Like, he could get disqualified for that. I think he might have get disqualified for this, to be honest. That is, it's terrible, Aye. lad. But the, the, the one, like, Goddard reposted that one. That's how I seen it. That, that one where, yeah. lad, he gets knocked out. He's bad knocked out. He's on the floor. He's trying to wrestle up. And this, this ref just goes... And it's, but it's the way, like, if he just choked him and then let go, but he goes, 
Oh, well, well, and then walks off like that when he like McGregor oh, and knocks no, when he chokes him out. It'd be like, like a fucking uh, football. He, sh- he shouldn't have been enjoying that. Oh, yeah, even he if shouldn't he, have been enjoying that. Even if it was that. his training, yeah. the fight, I do what you've got to do. Yeah, to do what you've got to do. But you should you should date with a tear on your eye. Yeah, you shouldn't no. be like big smile on your face. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Watch this lad. This oh lad, it made me feel sick. Yeah, look, he wrestles up the other kid, but because obviously he, he still thinks he's in a fight. <laughs> But watch this, watch this ref lad. Look at him smiling. Jesus. Hi, <laughs> Christ. Look, I'm surprised his corner didn't. Get... Look at the smile on his face. Oh, you should, disgraceful. You should be like, well, no, if that, no, if I, that was one of my teammates and I was in the corner, you, I would have knocked him clean. It should out have been. There. A, I'm surprised it wasn't a brawl. No way one of them grabbed him. Mm-hmm. Like, no. Say, like, it was Adam. Ellis would have grabbed him and I just would have went whack and just put one straight on his chin. I wouldn't no. have been able to help myself. I, the ref should have been like Will Smith and I. I'm legend with his dog. You know, he's just like really sadly <laughs> doing it. Uh, I'm, doing it. I'm, doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to do this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> imagine how, sick, imagine that, how yeah. much that would change the complexion of the film if he was love and choking with his dog uh, at the end yeah. of it. He's just fucking buzzing and <laughs> look at me, man. Like that, yeah, fuck meals, you, you bastard. That's for fucking up all your shit. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, you fucking just see him barring up. He's like, this fucking class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lad. So sick that, you know. I, I, I hate people like that, though. He's smug. You know what I mean? He's doing it. He's, he's even being a ref just to have a bit of power. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah you, oh, you get people that, like that, that, that That's yeah. that, that vibe of the security guard that didn't get a job of a yeah. policeman type of guy. Well, that's lad, like... To get on this, I got arrested in Asda when I was... <laughs> 12, 13. Nick, he was making George clothes. Get on this, lad. No, I was, lad, no, I was robbing. I was robbing chocolate. Uh, Big bars of chocolate to sell in school for a pound each and nice. silly string Good just because we were dickheads just spraying each other with silly Aye. string yeah. and fucking lad we walked out this little jobs with bellend jogged out after us come here boys need to speak to you so searched us and he's got us in this real talk to he's like yeah, yeah I've just applied for the police blah blah this and that <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we, you know that yeah so we <laughs> showing off to Ben yeah so we ra- like so we rang the police got us nicked we were in cells for the night um at 13 didn't stay all night our dad's got to pick we us up like well, this was at like half three four o'clock we went in the asda our dad's got to pick us up at like 10 o'clock in the night oh, um, but this lad was like yeah um, i've just applied for the police myself said it to me and jack me and my mate who got nicked and then said it to the pit the busies what come yeah i've just applied to the uh, oh. to the police and that now to try and like get in with them i'd have seen him working there like four years later the little scruffy bum <laughs> i hope he knows who i'm talking about lad. i hope he knows who i mean lad you're a little mink i'm made up you never ever got a job with the police you little snitch <laughs> so oh, lad, i swear i made up because i've seen him working there like three years later and i thought you little mushroom you never even got that job i'm made up you never got that job Aye, you would have just been one there. of them power hungry people you could just tell he was like Does that. He still work his... there, going on the Rob now. See if he's... No, <laughs> lad, I wish he still worked there. I'd have his head up his ass, lad. Be like, remember you years ago, you little wrong yeah. one. Yeah, remember yeah. you. Yeah, lad, remember what, what yeah. now, lads? Well, what now? Fuck, Gonna chase a... after me now. It was a fucking origin story on USC fight. Yeah. I knew I, fucking, I started working out in the cell, you daft cunt. Yeah. <laughs> I was just... doing press ups like that. I'm gonna get that cunt when I'm just, older. Just for this day, come get me, silly string bitch. <laughs> lad, mad, that you know, and we got nicked because of the silly string. That was the funny. Thing. Right. We didn't need the silly string. We were just getting like, it to have a what, laugh. What you in for? Be, yeah. <laughs> what you in for? <laughs> for? Oh, fucking Rob silly string, didn't we, lad? <laughs> just going to have a laugh with the boys. You know what the date of people that Rob silly string in prison? Yeah. <laughs> in, with, reason, in with the he, nonsense. The reason he watched us on the camera was because like you had to be over eighteen to buy silly string, which is just wow. Oh, do you? Yeah, it, it's a fucking weapon. I saw the abuse. I've been, I've been ID'd trying to buy a Red Bull, lad. Eh? Right. Yeah. Red Bull? Red Bull. What's illegal in that? Because I don't look over 25. You'll have to be over 18 now to buy a Red Bull. D- fuck off. I swear down, lad. You'll have to get ID'd buying a Red Bull, lad. That's mad. I didn't know like, that. I still look about 12. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? So I get ID'd most places when I still go. And I can remember getting ID'd for a Red Bull. And it was like... <laughs> I'm 25. This is like last year's. Like, I'm 25. I'm 25 and hungover. That's what yeah, the Red like, Bull's for. Like, just give me the Red Bull. Yeah. If I'm old enough to be hungover, I'm old enough to have the fucking yeah. Red Bull. Like, be reasonable, man. Oh, uh, lad. That, like, the way we're talking about power hungry, lad. It just reminded me of this kid I'm... in Tesco last year. Uh, my bird was buying wine and I wasn't even stood with her. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, say you're, she's you there at the, the till. Aye. And then he, I just said something to her. I was like, blah, blah. And then he went, the lad went, 
if you've got an idea as well, lad, I went, no, lad, I'm not buying it. And he went, but you're with her, so you need to have ideas as well, or you just can't get it. I went, what? It's like, she's got her ID showing you her you know ID. No, you should have done. Just pretend to be with everybody else in the queue and just so they couldn't get their beers. <laughs> and just show them how fucking ridiculous it is. Yeah, that you're just hang sure done hang that. in the shop just for families and all that. No, oh, lad, I couldn't help myself. Though I had to say to him, you little jobs with mushroom, no. like proper got on his back. And he was like, mm. I reckon he was an Everton fan, lad. And oh, just, that's Amazon, who I was, and was uh, like, fuck him, he's a red. You know what I mean? I got, I got my hair, this fucking shade haircut I'm wearing. I got it off a of <laughs> Man United fan. He was watching the Man United Newcastle game on, and I come in with a jolly accent. He's done this to me here. <laughs> <laughs> my, my missus is, uh, she's, she's fucking small. Like she weighs as much as a laugh sneeze. Right? She's 27, but she looks uh, like a child sometimes. Uh, you're, from a, you're a monster. Aye, aye, I'm a beast. <laughs> uh, we, your lass is training wheels for nonsense. <laughs> You know, she's methadrone for nonsense. You wean yourself off. You uh, wean yourself off. Uh, so we're in buying, we're, we're in buying booze once. Well, we did a, just a fucking big shop and there's like two bottles of red wine in there. And uh, I give him my idea and he does the same thing. He goes, what about uh, your missus? She's got my engagement ring on. He goes, I need her idea. And I'm like, are you calling me a fucking beast? Right, yeah, I, I, she's my fucking fiance, right? If, if, and she doesn't have ID on her because she just didn't bring out with her because I'm buying anything. He's like, she could be under 18. I'm like, then phone the police. <laughs> like, I'm a beast. Like, I've got to you're go not, to jail. Right it's one or the other. Give me the booze or phone police. Yeah. What one are you doing, lad? Yeah. Know what I mean? Either, either I'm about to commit a very minor crime or I'm doing a heinous one. Yeah. <laughs> like, a real heinous one. And you're like, that one's full of that slip. Did he not save you? He did eventually, like, I, like I, I'm not, as much as, like, I'd love to be fucking rude to staff. You're worried, you're worried that your fans are watching uh, in, in like, that part of the supermarket. They I, even see the thing that antagonises you, they just see you being rude to the staff. It's, it's one of the things I do, one of the... Yeah, we always come across as the bad guy in the end, don't we? Even when, like, we're the ones getting poked at a stick. Aye. Know what I mean? You've just got like, to have We're the ex- ones that are the bad guys if we bite someone's head off, because people know who we are, which is just mad. Man, I, mm. man, I have to fucking, like, one of the negative sides of fame is you could give me the shittest service in the fucking world in the restaurant and I'll still tip because if I don't I know you're just going to be like we down sauce in the other day uh-huh. tight cunt doesn't tip and I'm like yeah. you're shite at your job uh, and you're representing Scotland as well you're like really reinforcing See, the honest, stereotype I know what you mean there because Scouse is about for that we have to tip all the time but if my service is shit lad I won't tip you know I, like, that's I the can't rules. help it lad like if, if you shit service with me, I won't tip. Or Didn't the food tip your hairdresser. Was, or the food was yeah, your best hand that tipped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, f- I met him count them three pound back into my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Give us me change. <laughs> like, they ain't some dough nowadays, them barbers, you know, lad. Uh, when I was getting my hair cut when I was a kid, it was like, what, three quid or something, four quid for a child, five for an adult. Lad, you go to barbers now. Well, I don't go to barbers anymore, I can't with this head. But you go to barbers now, my <laughs> mates had them. It's like 20 quid for an haircut. Aye. What happened to the world? Aye. Like, I like years the, ago it was like eight quid I like the ones where they just go you are, they are expensive they go and they give you a whisky or a beer and you're like this is why this is 20 fucking quid yeah yeah you're right there like <laughs> when you whip a drink out I, the fridge but you know you're, you're happy to pay it when you're getting like you, you see yeah, you get a drink I, they're giving you one of them head wank things like, uh, you're, fucking, you're, you're, you're like ah, go on then give us the spa treatment like, the only if you're reason gonna take I go money. to barbers now is for a proper shave take a shave and cut throat Oh man, I'd love to go for it, but I think they'd laugh me out the shop if I ever went. I'm like, can you take a shave my beard? And they're like, we'll just get a kitten to lick it off, mate. Like, lad, I'm sure, they what my half fella says. My half goes, oh, I get a lolly ice stick, lad. That'll get that off. My half fella terrorizes me, lad. Proper. Like I, this isn't this is me not shaved since how many weeks since the fight now? Ten, like ten days. I got this shave like a week before the fight. So that's me, like three Aye, weeks. Going out. So it doesn't like my eye. It doesn't grow fast at all, man. Aye, I'd, I'd, I'd love a fucking beard, but I just every time, like if I let this go for two weeks, if I let it grow for two months, I'd probably have a beard. But those two months would be very sad. Yeah, <laughs> like it would just be like it'd be, I, I'd look absolutely disgusted, and the people Aye, around me I'd, would just go. I give it a shot, like, and you could even though when it was down here, you could still see me chin. You can see my jawline, it didn't like shape my face. It just hung off us. Uh, yeah, with, for me, with me, it's weird, lad. Like, let's see, I didn't get this cut for two months once. And it was leading up to me fight in March. And when I was getting pictures before, I looked at some of the pictures and was like, what, I need to shave that. What's going on there? It just looks like my mates get like five o'clock shadows and then get beards within four days. You oh, know what I mean? Oh, but like the one, the one reason like that I... Simpson when he shaves and yeah, he comes back in the mirror. The one reason that I couldn't shave it, like have a big beard is 
I had have food in it constantly. Mm. Oh, I'm a fat little bastard, lad. I just can see, you know what I mean? The cheeks are back in a big way. Like, <laughs> I How's can't it? stop eating that. I'd have all be food stuck in my beard, and if I wouldn't right. notice it for two hours, I'd go, oh, there's a bit of bacon there. Do you, do you, reckon, do you reckon when you're out there, when you're done fighting, you're just going to become oh, a big yeah. massive fat guy? I am. I? I'm just going to be a big fat one. You're going to fucking turn into Fat Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll be the new Wesley Snyder, the new Ricky Atten, yeah. the new Prince Nazim Ahmed. Ali, Ali McCoy. I mean? Ali, Ali McLeod, all of them, lad. Hasn't Torres fucking blown up a bit, Fernando? No, he's done the opposite. Has he? Have you seen what he's done? No. He's like that. Is he hench? Is he? Ah, these are units. Oh, maybe that's what I fucking that's saw That's what he's then. done. He's like, should see a picture of him recently, lad. I see, so it got put in the group chat the other week. Lad, he is built like a brick shit house. He's like that. It's like he's got two plasmas under his arms. He's walking around yeah. like that. It's oh. mad. And I'm old ready. now, about 38 oh. or something. Just ready to bar any Chelsea fan that's got a bad thing to say about him. You must have been fucking laughing when you sold him to us and he didn't score for yeah. 17 fucking games. Though what the maddest one ever about that was as well. He saw his first Liverpool goal against you. Oh, did he? I remember Aye. watching that first game of the season. Aye. Agent Torres. Yeah. Aye. Scored his first ever Liverpool goal against you. You did, you then, used to, you did that you, for years. The only you, thing you would about, sell us, you, you gave us fucking Ben Ayun, and then he turned out to be fucking shite. Ramorellas. Uh, I liked Ramorellas. I liked Ramorellas for us, lad. That's why it done me. It, oh, what, oh, everyone loved Ben Ayun at Liverpool. So yeah. it was. That was a bit of a killer when he went because everyone loved Ben Ayun because we got him for pretty cheap off West Ham, oh, didn't we? You fucking got Salah off of us, you bastards. Yeah, but not off of you. Use a fuck-ups, lad. I know, I'm going to get rid of fucking Kevin Durant. That Bruin. was Mourinho, though. Aye, and, and Lukaku. Lukaku. Aye. Ended up, how much did you send Ben on him? 97 million. 97 again, million, man. aye. Oh, man. <laughs> Imagine I, like, that. You had him like five years ago. Oh, well, yeah, there's 97 million. Go we'll take him back. Aye. aye. Man, the, the Kevin De Bruyne and the Mo Salah one for me because I remember watching Mo Salah uh, like occasionally get games for Chelsea. His first goal was against that in that fucking six 0 against Arsenal uh, and Wenger's thousandth game in charge. Oh, that's killer. And that. oh, it's great! It was the sixth goal. <laughs> uh, it was so joyous to fucking watch. But Salah was always good for us. He just it didn't was, get a chance. Yeah, no. at the time he was fucking competing with Samuel Eto and yeah. stuff, which is you know fair enough. And I then, hated I hated what you did to us. You took my best strike and then just barely used him. Demba, Demba Bar. Fuck, don't even mention that prick's oh, name. Oh, yeah! <laughs> what don't happened? even mention his name. You've got the Gerard slip. slip. The Gerard oh, slip. Yeah. Aye. Demba Bar can die. Oh, <laughs> yeah, can fucking die, hell, that's what I did. I'm oh. sick of hearing the words Slippy G. Uh, 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 fuck uh, fuck I'm glad now, back looking back in hindsight, I am glad we never won the league that year. Aye. No, why? Because Brendan Rodgers would still be in charge now. And Aye. fuck that shit. He, but, but got it though for fucking Stevie it G. It was for Gerard, aye, yeah. But aye, I know aye. for a fact Gerard's going to come back Does, to the pool as a manager and win the league as a manager. Aye. Does he leave places and he's just hated from everywhere? He leaves Brendan Rodgers like the Celtic yeah. fans hate him now as well. So yeah. I, With me, the thing with that season was we didn't need to beat Chelsea. Because Mourinho set up with 10 men behind the ball, didn't he, that day? He was just like, no, we're just going to sit back. The Mourinho special. Yeah, and we didn't need to beat Chelsea. We could have drew with Chelsea and won all the rest of our games and still won the league. But Rodgers was like, no, we want to get so many goals, we want to get so many goals. And that's what lost us it. Mm. Like, everyone talks about that and says it's Gerard's fault. If we would have won, I think that game when we were beating Palace 3 0. If we would have. He's a Palace fan. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Chris, Chris Stamble. <laughs> fuck off. They've got, they've got it on VHS, man. Chris Stamble. <laughs> the, um, like, the one thing that done my head in about that, lad, was just sit on your 3 0 win. Uh, like, but he was like, no, we need to go and get more goals. I'd watching Suarez cry on the pitch after that game was heartbreaking, lad. Oh, not, not for the rest of the world, yeah, by not, the way. Not for the rest of us. Like, like, I watching feel sorry Suarez for Liverpool, cries. but Suarez yeah. was like, a... look, look, someone I always hated after that game, and then I hated them even more when Seville beat us in the final because I blamed them for that as well. Alberto Moreno. Aye. Lad, who was it that absolutely dumb Moreno on the wing? Balassi absolutely yeah. smoked Moreno on the wing, and Moreno should have just went. <laughs> and volley them you know what I mean Glenn, Glenn Johnson Glenn Johnson as well yeah, yeah like the worst second half of the yeah second like half. both our right back and left back that day in the second half come out and thought yeah let's just let the wingers rip our, rip us a new arsehole you know what I mean that's exactly what they thought no. and they did everyone forgets in that game as well Victor Moses nearly scored the winner to make it 4-3 at the very end though Victor Three. Moses yeah Victor, Victor, was it Moses it oh. might have been no I don't know like so yeah, what? Yeah, I see. I can't even remember that. He used to play for us, so that it could have been like completely a different. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like it very nearly went in. Victor Moses nearly scored for us at the end, yeah, because we had him that year on loan, yeah, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. 
Fuck. See, I can't remember that. I just think of Suarez crying lad oh, on his yeah. drone to you. And right. then company lifting the fucking prem. I'll, I'll he can remember I was sitting on the step having a cry. <laughs> no, 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 fucking after Suarez tried to take a chunk out of Ivanovic, I was like, look, don't get me wrong. I was love... that, after, that was after it? Wait, no, that was, was, that was after it? It was after it. Yeah. But look, I love bastards in football. I think like if your team has a good bastard, we had they Diego had Costa, a, one of not, the greatest. Not, not Pepe. Not Pepe. Pepe's he, a fucking rat. No, I, I know what you mean there, though. I do like Costa. I uh, do. It's mad because a lot of people don't like him. He's a I bastard, like but he was fucking our bat. Yeah, and he, man, he knew how to get every Arsenal player sent off the fucking pitch. <laughs> Anytime we played against Arsenal, it was like, right, who's Diego Costa going to get fucking sent off today? You like somebody that's able to be the fucking. Ronaldo was dead good at being a, being a fucking. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he yeah. was. When he was younger, he was like the Rooney one. Yeah, I fucking. The Rooney get, one against England, lad. You know what I mean? Uh, who's another fucking great bastard? Adebayo's a belt a bastard. Oh, that fucking that running city bastard. bastard. <laughs> running the full length of the pitch. That was fucking Can't think, oh, The only one we've had really off the top of my head is Suarez, lad, where every other team hates him. Aye. But if he plays for you, you'll love him. Uh, uh, that the, tends to be the case with like the, the shit house read, doesn't it? Like if yeah. he's on your team, you're it's like, on your I'll, team, I'll it's sad. It. But uh, any other team, you're like, he's a cunt. Yeah, Aye. but you just have to understand why people hate it. No, what one of the like, Drogba was a bit of a because you just hate Arsenal. Well, you've got loads of Arsenal fan mates. I have to say, possibly the worst footballer in the league is Granit Xhaka. Oh, uh, that you man know what? After has the no he football had. and brain nah. after, how, after how many times do you need to get sent off or yellow card to realise that you, you can't do that oh, you could yeah. in the 80s you can't now he's also man like his, his fucking history with Arsenal like he's he like, was the captain then he fucking stood on the shirt on his way off yeah and like fucking abused the fa- abused the home fans uh, and then yeah. is still the he's fucking like, captain he's like a bad drunk isn't he Aye. is he he's, captain again I still that's just scary that you know our well, Arsenal fans. I want mate. our Ted to stay forever, mate. Uh, he should yeah. never sack Wenger, though. I don't care what anyone says. Wenger kept the strip steady there, didn't he? Oh, well, it really shows you how much Wenger was was fucking doing, like to uh, consistently get them Champions League football. Uh, he was, and o- he was they, overachieving. Never seen it he was overachieving, and they <laughs> he didn't was. know it. He was overachieving, uh, and he didn't know it. Aye, because they had this entitlement. Because they, because man, they came close to the the title a couple of times. Yeah, like, they, they did. Uh, in in the later years, and aye, and then you, you just... have a big sense of entitlement because of. The thing, yo, the invincible season. Oh, it's still they live on that forever. Oh, they do. Yeah. They die now on that regularly. And they count, yeah. they count charity shields as their trophies. So. Oh, lad, anyone that includes charity <laughs> shields as trophies, lad, go and go, just just jump off a cliff. It's fucking you know I mean? pathetic. It's man. a friendly. It's Aye. down as a friendly. That's why it goes to pens straight for them. It doesn't have extra time. It's Aye. a friendly. Super cups. Yeah, it Aye. means something. Fucking get in. Community Shields. <laughs> fuck off. Uh, lad, I'm bad off man. Super Cups mean something, lad. Charity uh, Shields don't. don't it's, care. it's a shield, it's not a trophy. Uh, so yeah. on that note, <laughs> <laughs> we have to leave leave it there. But um tell everyone where to find you on social media and that boys. Um get my podcast, Sloss Sloss and Humphreys on the road. Uh, and it's uh, it's on Patreon for two episodes uh, a week, or you can get it for one episode a week for yeah. free. And that's on like Spotify, iTunes. Uh, so it's Lost and Humphreys, that's what name And on. Uh, we're also your socials and that, isn't uh, it? And your live shows. Uh, uh, I, I just I, Daniel well, Sloss. Just we've got we've got our names, Kai Humphreys and Daniel Sloss on Instagram on yeah, Twitter. Nice. And we're on uh, we're on tour uh, fucking literally everywhere. So just DanielSloss.com, <laughs> you'll be able to find uh, it. Just get on there, you'll uh, find it. There'll be a date somewhere by you. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're, going, we're going everywhere. Like we're going to America. <laughs> For about six weeks, and we've, right. we're in the middle nice. of a European tour at the minute. Like we just popped back from Greece, and we're going to head back that. through. Oh, so yeah. we're, aye, we're, wherever you are in the world, we're coming near you. It's at some point. Like, well, you said that here first. Anywhere in the world, oh, Slots hold on, on. Fees are coming the, for you. This is this is where you're going to get all your fans in India, guys. When you come to <laughs> India, <laughs> you know, all the so they're not everywhere in the world. Sure. But anyway, um, thank you for joining us, people. That was episode 13 of Chat and Pony with Paddy the Baddy, sponsored by Flux Active Wear. Thank you very much for coming on, boys. See you next week.